For weeks now, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, have been pursuing the vicious Pete Madden gang. Wanted for cattle rustling by every sheriff west of the Mississippi, these desperate outlaws have left a trail of robbery, destruction, and murder. At long last, their leader, Pete Madden himself, has finally been captured by the angry ranchers. But at what a heavy cost. For the Madden gang has already struck back ruthlessly by abducting young Jim Patrick, son of one of the ranchers, to hold as a hostage for their vicious leader. Every rancher in the country is up in arms. Every rancher, that is, but two newcomers to this part of the West, Fred Vance and his wife, Mary. We can't stop here, Mary. We're not far enough away from the last place. Oh, Fred, it's such beautiful country. And look, there's a perfect spot to build our new home. We could risk it. We've got to stop running away sometime. Please. Well, it is beautiful country, and I heard that the land was for sale. Well, you know what it means if the neighbors find out who I am. Well, we could always change our name. No, Mary. I'm proud of my name. I've done nothing to make us ashamed of it. It stays the same, no matter where we settle, no matter what the consequences. Now, do you still want to build here, or do we move on? I want to build here, Fred. All right, Mrs. Vance. This is where we set up housekeeping. And we start right now. Oh, our new home site. I'm going to love it here, Fred. the Madden Gang's hideout at last. Me not understand, Kimusabi. All tracks of Madden Gang lead out of hideout, not into it. That can mean only one thing. Madden and his gang are out on another raid, most likely in the next county where Tom Patrick and his ranchers are so stirred up against him. We follow tracks, Kimusabi? I don't think we'll have to, Tonto. This hideout is Madden's stronghold. Whatever he's up to, he's almost sure to return here. I'll keep watching those rocks up yonder. You scout around. Make sure those tracks do lead toward the next county. I'll meet you at our camp in the morning. Maybe waiting, Kimusabe. You must be done in, Fred. Never saw you work so hard. Why don't you take a rest? Got no time for rest. I'm building more than a home, I'm building a fort. This time, nobody will drive us away. Who'd drive us away from here, Fred? No one knows it. Nobody knew us the last four places we tried to settle either. Look, Mary, we bought this land fair and honest. Used up almost all of our money to do it. Got just enough to buy a few cows and register a brand. We're here for keeps, and I'll fight anybody who says different. Before you fight them, Fred, let's try to be friends with them, shall we? We'll see. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, ma'am. My name's Patrick, Tom Patrick. We're glad you came a-calling, Mr. Patrick. I'm afraid this isn't a social call, ma'am. No? What's on your mind, Patrick? You look as though you'd be right handy toting a gun. I can use one when I have to. Did you ever hear of the Madden Gang? Madden Gang? Well, they used to operate in the county where I had a ranch before. Gave us plenty of trouble. I reckon you won't mind coming along, then and helping the rest of us ranchers track him down. We've got Madden in jail, but his gang is holding my boy Jim as hostage. Mister, it'd be a pleasure to ride after those hombres. We're meeting at my place in town in three hours. See, I don't think I got your name. Vance, Fred Vance, and this is... Vance! That's right. Why, you're nothing but a dirty outlaw yourself. You spent a year in jail for rustling. That's a lie, I'm no rustler. The law says different. I got a list of every rustler let out of jail in the past year, and your name's right at the top. He was innocent, Mr. Patrick. It was Madden's men who pulled that raid. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I got no proof of that. And if you don't want us to round you up with the rest of the Madden gang, you better get off of this land pronto. Let him try to run us off. Just let him try. Me 
follow trail till dark, Kimosabe. See no sign of Madden Game. Come back here to camp. I had better luck than you, Tonto. You mean you find out something last night? Yes, all we need to know. Them come back to hideout? Right after midnight. I couldn't see much because it was so dark, but I heard plenty. Them off on another raid? Yes, only this time it didn't come off so well. Tom Patrick and his ranchers managed to capture Madden. That leaves the gang without their leader. That plenty good news. There's some bad news, too. The gang is holding Tom Patrick's son, Jim, as hostage. I would have tried to rescue him, but it was too dark. You and me go back, get him now? No, Toto. The boy's safe enough for a while. But if his father and those ranchers come after him in a body, they'll ride into an ambush. You think it better we ride to town first, see Tom Patrick? If we don't, a lot more lives may be endangered. Tom's a brave man, but sometimes a little foolhardy. We'd better hurry, Toto. There's no time to lose. this stuck in the door an hour ago. If Madden isn't free by noon Wednesday, your kid will die. Well, now we know their next move. Well, what are you going to do, Tom? The posse's raring to go as soon as you give the word. If we only knew where their hideout was. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Those outlaws play for keeps. If we don't let Madden go, they'll kill Jim for sure. You'll have to find their hideout before they can kill him. You mean we're not letting Madden go? You'd risk Jim's life? Don't get me wrong, Joe. I love my kid. But there's something more than just his life at stake. Madden is the brains of his gang. If we let him loose to lead them again, hundreds of innocent people will die. Now, we've got to find his gang without releasing him. I think I can help you, friends. You don't need guns. I'm on your side. Who are you and what do you want here? The same thing you do, the Madden gang. The lawman, eh? Then why the mask? Have you ever seen one of these before? A silver bullet. But there's only one man who wears a mask and fires a silver bullet, and he's... Then you know me, Tom. I sure do, stranger. And I've heard a lot of good things about you, too. Tano and I have been riding hard to get here. I've got news about the Madden gang. You see, we've been on their trail for quite a while. Yes? We've located the gang and your son in a hideout, about two days' ride from here. Your son prisoner near Redstone Pass. Redstone Pass? I know that area. You heard that, boys? Let's get going. Wait, Tom. A large posse wouldn't have a chance of taking them by surprise there. Him right. Maybe two, three men, but not big group. Tom, you'd better forget your men. Let me handle this. I'm sorry, friend, but this is our fight. And it stands to reason that ten men would have a better chance against them than just one or two. Let's go, boys. Well, what about that cattle rustling Fred Vance? Do we go after him, too? You bet we do. As soon as we take care of the Madden gang. What we do now, Kimasabi? We've got to find a way of stopping those ranchers from riding into a massacre. Many of them, only two of us. Not enough. Fred Vance. I read about his trial. He was convicted on mighty slim evidence. Tonto, we'll give Fred Vance a chance to prove he's not a cattle rustler. Come on. Food's ready. You must be starved. Fred, no. It's just a precaution, Mary. Maybe they won't even come. But if they do... Two of them. Well, I'm ready for him this time. Get behind the wagon. Hold your fire! We're friends! I haven't got any friends! Honey, he's mad. And that Indian. They're not ranchers, they're part of Madden's gang. We want to talk to you. Don't come any closer, or this time I won't shoot over your heads. He means it, Tonto. We'll use the possum trick. Me savvy. We're here to help you, Vance. We're coming in whether you like it or not. Fred, you've killed them. I warned him to stay back. Sorry I had to do that, Fred. All right, you got me. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Oh, Fred. I told you, we are friends. Friends don't wear masks. Sometimes they do. 
Release him, Tonto. You can put away your gun. I'll explain. Look here, I, I don't get this. I've got a plan for rescuing Tom Patrick's boy before the Madden gang can ambush the ranchers who are now heading toward their hideout. But I'll need your help. With every ranch in the country looking for my hide? <laughs> Why should I help? Because I believe you're an honest man. And one way to prove it is by going after those rustlers like any honest man would. Well, what do you say? Any sign of Tom Patrick and his ranchers yet, Toto? Not yet, Kimo Sabe. You know, I reckon Patrick's not going to like the surprise one bit. He'll hate me even worse than he did after our run-in the other day. He'll stop hating you soon enough, Fred, if you can deliver his son back to him. You talk as if it was going to be easy. I've seen his Madden gang in action. I wouldn't be surprised if we were all taken prisoners. They're tough hombres. We can be tough too, Fred, when we have to be. Kimo Sabi, me here horses. Good. Now do just as I told you. Off those guns. Out of the saddle, all of you. Toto, get their guns. I thought you were on our side. I might have known you'd be in cahoots with the rustlers. He's no rustler, Tom, or he wouldn't be helping me save your son. We've been trailing you for two days. Now we'll take over. Got their guns, Toto? Huh. Keep them covered till we get back. Sorry to have to do this, Tom. But I figure my way is safer than yours. What can two men do alone? Ride into Madden's hideout like they had an invite? Maybe. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Fred, we'll take Scott along for Jim. Good. We got long wait. Better sit down. This is where we separate, Fred. Madden's camp is over there. You understand now what you're to do. I understand, all right, but suppose something goes wrong. We'll worry about that if it happens. Your job is to free Jim Patrick. I'll try to take care of the rest of the gang. Good luck, Fred. Thanks. Talk to the Patrick kid. All right, masked man, that's far enough. Put up your hands. What kind of a welcome is that? I've ridden a long way to find the Madden gang. Nobody finds the Madden gang till they prove they're not on the side of the law. I was working for the law. You think I'd come in here myself to capture the whole gang single-handed? Well, I reckon that makes good sense. All right, stranger, you can ride in and talk it over with the boss. Yeah. But don't forget, I've got you covered all the way. Just about noon, Patrick. Looks like your old man don't value your hide too much. Or he'd have turned Madden loose and he'd be here by now. I hope he never lets him loose. Hey, Nolan! Somebody's coming! I'll see who it is. You stay here, Sam. Keep your hands up, stranger. But you know you're trespassing on private property. Isn't that what the Madden gang specializes in? Trespassing on other people's property? Just what do you mean by that, mister? Well, what's good for the Madden gang? It's good enough for me. Oh, that's why you're wearing the mask. Thinking about joining up with us, eh? I've been trying to catch up with you for a long time. Well, climb down, but don't try anything funny. Sure. It's a mighty fine horse you got there. You wouldn't want to tell me where you got him, would you? No more than you'd want to tell me where you got yours. <laughs> you're all right, stranger. Come on over by the fire. Thanks. 
Howdy. Sit down. Take on some grub. I wonder if that is Madden. Because if it ain't, you better start saying your prayers, Patrick. You just got a couple of minutes left. You haven't got much time left either. Someday they'll catch up with you polecats. Polecats, huh? I'll show you who the polecats are. Not here. Rocky, take care of the Patrick kid. Sure thing, Jake. Wish you'd have plugged him long ago. Looks like we'll have to go after Madden ourselves. Are you with us, stranger? Sure. I like nothing better than going after Pete Madden. Mind if I look at my horse first? No, go ahead. Hey, boss! Yeah? Nobody's left Sam and got the boy away. That may be your son, Jim. Take gun now. Go after Madden Gang. Your horse is fresh. There's tired. Jim, I was afraid I'd never see you alive again. You wouldn't have, Dad. If it had been for the masked man and Fred Vance. Fred. 
said, look. You won't need that, Fred. We're proud to have you as a neighbor. And if you'd let us, we'd like to help you finish your cabin. Come on, boys, let's get to work. Let's go. Hey, uh, yes, sir. We're glad to help. We have work to do elsewhere, Tello. Gee, Mary, it looks like we're going to have a home at last. And friends, like the Patricks here. And, and Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 